Shin and the news reflection and I'm dancing with my set L. Okay. Ooh. Welcome to the discussion of music videos with me, Sam Hiley. Here we have Sam McNellis to my um to your your left. And then we have Louis Holders here to my to your right, to my left. And uh we're just gonna be discussing music videos because that's what we've been assigned to do. So uh, if if you'd like to start us off, Louis. Thank you very much. Uh, the song I want to talk about is called Eye of the Storm. It's done by this band called uh, Love It. And uh, it is a very visually impressive music video, given the fact that the entire thing was filmed in front of a blue screen, uh, as well as black lights. All of the costumes themselves were actually either painted over or had fluorescent tape on them so that they basically showed up much better and could be edited far more easily. Uh, music itself, the genre of music, I would say is somewhere between rock and alternative rock. Um, and I think that really plays well into the, the general theme of the music video because it's, it has a very steampunk theme to it. Uh, and one of the main sound effects in this music video is the use of lightning strikes, the turning of turbines and gears, fire igniting, steam being vented, and a dragon roaring. <laughs> I don't know why there's dragon to be honest, but there is. It's kind of cool. Uh, I think the appeal of the video actually comes from the fact that uh, out of the way that it was filmed and how edited it was and how it's very difficult to see whether or not one thing was green screen or another thing was actual effects. Actual, actual, uh, at, yeah, actual effects. Uh, as for the length of the video, it's about five minutes long, uh, which I found to be quite odd, I suppose, because most music videos usually aren't, usually don't go over the three to four minute line of how long it is. Uh, and where it was filmed was it was actually filmed in this uh, film studio in this warehouse and the crew only had about one day just to film and so it took, so anything that they did film had to go in and had to stay in or you know just be edited out uh, overall I think it's actually a quite a good music video because it is very visually interesting and has a lot to show what a person could do in such a short amount of time. My s okay, here's a, here's a little clip of Louis' song. And now, uh, this is this is my song. Meow. And uh, it is lunatic calm. Leave you far behind. Uh, it's the genre of music is industrial slash breakbeat slash drum and bass and it's very weird it's very fast extremely fast paced to the point where it's almost like someone who made it was taking speed or you know some sort of uh what's the word you've got depressants and then you've got what's the other one oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's it called you've got depressants hallucinogens What's the one that makes your heartbeat go faster? Like you tell us, you do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it's it's like someone who took Miles. No, no, go, go away. Miles, go away. Miles, no, Miles. Miles, this is my moment. Uh, basically, we've got a no, 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 no. Meow. I've got what I was talking about now. Oh yeah, it's really cool. It's it's really. Um, wacky and fast paced and super aggressive looking and we're, we've hit the four minute mark now we should have been done a minute ago um, on to you McNellis thank you Mr. Hiley here's a clip of McNellis's video <laughs> right so basically the band I'm going to be talking about is Arctic Monkeys uh, in terms of Arctic Monkeys like how they originated the name is through 
Yeah, Sorry, I'm just trying some Pasco for real. Oh, dude, oh. It's getting pretty loud, so put it closer to your mouth. Right, so Def Rams is an alias for British indie rock band Arctic Monkeys, which everyone is familiar with within the UK, I believe, even across the world. Wow. Um, they originate under like a Sheffield artist and many other people as well. Um, so most music videos, they're pretty depressed. Like, well, most of like the music videos are pretty depressing when you think about it because it's like life troubles with like girls or just like troubles in general throughout life because they go for like rough patches and it's like most of the what what are you doing to me so most music videos they're like black and white or low-key lighting or the actors that are in the mouth hmm? they're close to your mouth this better now much please continue like that <laughs> anyway um so most most yeah so it's mostly pretty depressing because like the lyrics consist of like the guy well it'll be like a story of like the guy being infatuated with like another girl and like obviously it's not really going well and obviously he's like really thinking about it but she really doesn't care or like it, it's mostly sad kind of depressing stories to be honest that's how i view it in my own overview of perspective really uh perspective <laughs> yeah that's my perspective uh so yeah that's my part done Kylie, would you like to take over? Uh, th thanks for watching. I don't know how this. I don't know if this video will make the light of day, but if it does, um.